So we have taken a trip up to our cabin and this is our view. You can't really see it on screen though. Oh yeah, the mountains over there is really nice. And um, afterwards we're gonna go down to my grandma's old house because she's staying there. And we have to take some water there from here because <laughs> because uh, her water doesn't work right now. But my dad is over there and packing and stuff, packing out of the car. And this is our cabin. It's the smallest one around here, but it's really nice, even though, because you don't need a big one. And so we're gonna go, I'm gonna film inside later on, but we're gonna go down. We used to stay at my grandma's old house before we got a cabin here. And so it's a lot of good memories from there, but we're gonna go down afterwards. So we're now down at my grandma's old house, and this is so many memories, like, we used to, when we were younger, make like a scare house for our parents and and my grandmas and uncles and an aunt. And we used to like hide under here, and like turn off the lights and like scare them. And yeah, so this is basically my grandma's old house. And it's really nice to see it because this is where we used to like go before when I was younger and everyone, like, we don't have a big family but everyone else used to go here and to sleep here. Hey grandma! <laughs> Just vlogging. This used to be a store actually when my grandma was younger and it had like a door there but it's closed now of course. And it's so many old stuff here like, oh yeah, this is from 19... 73. So it's like really old. It's yeah, like in sports. It's really cool to see all this old stuff. I mean, when we was younger, we usually like ran around here and looked and stuff. The, mm, there's like an old typewriter. Not working. <laughs> but yeah. Basically, the outside is starting to get really old. We used to play under there. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the <outdoors. laughs> I was like, uh, you don't have a toilet inside, so I have to go in there to this is you the need. So this is the inside of our cabin, in the kitchen, mom, where mom and dad sleeps, and there's the bathroom, and I sleep up here. And me all parking as usual. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a lot of place to sleep, even though it's not a really big cabin, but yeah. And in the morning you can hear all the sheep. Can you hear them on the No. It's actually a good view here. Whee! The stairs are so steep. Information down there as well. So, we did not the so I made up the viewpoint and it's absolutely beautiful. And you can see Snowhead over there. Can't really capture that good on camera. Let's see. Yeah. And they have built this. We can go inside. I'm going to go in there after. Um, this really makes me just want to like walk for ages in the mountain and like sleep, go up the cabin. The cabin is so nice here right now. And yeah. So we now made it inside and it's really nice. Yeah. It, there you go. Mm. 
It really is an amazing view here, and yeah, you kind of sometimes forget about it and just go out, and go out in nature, but Norway really do have amazing nature. And the first time I went to this path I'm walking up to now, I couldn't find a trail, so I didn't find it if I was like on the top, so I like walked just there, but this trail is just there. But yeah, it's really hot by now but down there it's just raining and it's really weird like walking here up in the mountain and about 500 meters away it's raining so it's really local but I'm also lucky because it was um, a lot of thunder earlier so I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to walk up here and like in here I'm not in shape whatsoever <laughs> but it's really nice to just walk up around around here in the mountain because in our room it's not really easy to go just find a mountain to just climb up in but uh, near my cabin it's just like you walk for half an hour and ta-da in the mountain like the top mountain because our cabin is just like in the end there and, and that's also kind of on the mountain so yeah Awesome. It's like nobody here. So nice. So this earlier, like really local weather. Over there, I just heard thunder and you can see the rain. That's really local. So I have gone out for some fishing. I have not gotten anything and you can like see all the fishes in the water but nobody is getting it but my mom dies over there. It's awesome weather though. It's been raining and turning earlier so now it's really nice weather to be outside. Even though we're not gonna get any kind of fish whatsoever. <laughs> mines I haven't done it before so but it's really cool to see because it's like where the people used to work before in the mines and they actually I've actually walked in there and taken a train in there but yeah <laughs> and this is the mine there it is it's a really nice view over the Rondon here as well so straight about the cabin, we have a wonderful view. You just have to walk up a small hill. It's absolutely amazing. I usually walk up here like at least once, once every time I'm here. Just so beautiful. And be careful. <laughs> It's over there. <laughs> it was the only thing you could show me. <laughs> uh, what brown is really nice? There is the barcode. Sorry about it. Check it out. I'll come Actually, it's my second day here in Oslo, and I'm going to the embassy today. And this is my house I room. Actually, starting to get nice weather. It's good. I'm going to the embassy, the U.S. embassy today, because I need my visa to go working in the states, and I'm always nervous for this kind of stuff. But when I think about it, I'm actually really happy about it as well because for 
about four years ago, in my high school, I got to know that I failed one of my exams. So now I'm, so I had to wait a year to like retake my exam and stuff like that. But now I'm finished with my university degree. I'm gonna start working in the state for Disney World, and I mean, <laughs> how can you not be happy about that? So I'm really, really happy about that. I'm just. If you're watching this and you don't know me or anything, but are going through a hard time with school or are really at the rock bottom, just, it's so many new possibilities out there. Even though you fail an exam, it doesn't mean the end of the world. Just try something new, just, or retake the exam like I did and hope for the best and a year later that may, might be the best thing that happens. And yeah. <laughs> so. I'm lucky, I have my own little hotel room right now. And it's really cute, I really like the nice colors. And I need to buy more like professional outfit that I'm gonna wear this day. Because I just don't really have anything else. But yeah. I'm gonna go there in about half an hour or something. So Hope for best that I get the visa. So <laughs> the family have gathered at my grandma's house and we play <laughs> in a game we used to play when we were younger. And who's winning? Isaac? Yeah, man. <laughs> He's winning. And I'm so like, hard. I just get one point at a time. Oh, no. That's So for a cup, like one second ago or something, wasn't raining like at all. It was just look at this. Oh my god! Like Jesus. Hello. So for about one week ago, I got this in the mail. Woohoo! It's my bachelor's degree in tourism management and experience economy. I am so happy about that because. I never really thought I was able to get a bachelor degree and I'm the first one in my family to get one. So I'm so happy! <laughs> I know it sounds like really um, like bragging but you know what? Once in your lifetime you do have the right to brag I think. <laughs> and I also finally got my visa. I'm not going to show it, just going to show it my password. Um, finally got my visa for the States even though it was a bit... Ugh, it was a bit hard to get it, but I got it, and so I'm not ready. Two weeks to go, and I'm so, so excited. I don't even, <laughs> I don't know how to feel, because I'm going to be away from Norway now for, let's see, uh, one year, and I don't really know anybody. I will keep on vlogging. When I get to know people, because <laughs> it's gonna be kind of awkward when I don't know people and just like, let me show a camera up in the face. Um, but yes, so I got my visa and my bachelor degree finished. And um, yeah, it's a new chapter in my life. And this is gonna be, I think this is gonna be my last part from Norway. And I'm probably gonna film. Uh, when I'm packing and getting ready for going to Florida, but I'm gonna put that in like in a vlog when I go to Florida when I have the guts to start vlogging. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that, and so this has basically been me in Norway for the last two months. So yeah, bye. <laughs>